Hey, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You're watching Sampath SamFX YouTube channel, and this is Poco X3 custom ROM reviews. In this video, I'm going to show you in detail of this review of iQOO 9 Pro ported ROM that is Funtouch OS for Poco X3 slash NFC. Here, they said that firmware is included. I flashed with the just ROM zip file and formatting data and reboot to system. This is how the flashing method very simple. There are some of the bugs in this ROM and there are positive things also. Stay tuned till the end of the video. You will be knowing everything in detail regarding this ROM. And if you are first time to this channel, hit that subscribe button down below. And also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon. And if you like the video, give it a like. And let's begin this video. I have been running the CPU throttling test from last 6 minutes and 2 seconds you can see here the maximum is 156 and average is 151 and minimum is 136 million JPS and there is a little bit of throttling going on but in the graph it's not showing actually you can see here it's throttled to 95% of its max performance and during this testing I noticed one weird thing the time and the screen I mean screen freezes for a second and unlimited storage of google photos is not available in this room that you need to keep in mind i mean the screen is freezing in this particular room they would have given the choice to flash the firmware separate then i think the global firmware would have been solved this but whatever it is there is screen freezing going on i noticed during every testing cpu throttling also it freezes for few seconds again starts the time that what happened to this particular room I don't know there are positive things also like you can see here even the scrolling also first time it takes a little bit of lag later you can swipe here it's fine there's a ported ROM I think this first time for Poco X slash NFC we are seeing Fanta choice which is generally we see in vivo on iq smartphone and this is iq 9 pro ported software here it is fine enough but there are a little bit of bugs as i said before screen freezing and the scrolling as you can see first time it takes a little bit of lag here that you can notice i guess and regarding applications you get this kind of here the album which is available in i mean this font touch choice which is fine you get gallery as albums if you want you can use google photos also but you won't get unlimited storage and here you get google go camera as pre-installed gcam here if you want you can use any other gcam port this is an android 12 version hence anx also not supported safety net status it will get failed obviously because this is pre-rooted rom as you can see it get failed the rom is pre-rooted just you need to use this magix model and hide it and then it will be going to work fine and there is update also for magix like 25.2 the 24.1 version has been installed i mean pre-installed with this rom coming to benchmark results you can see here geekbench scores the single score is 1519 and multi score is 15 sorry 1516 is multi score and single score is 590 and kernel user is linux 4.1 4.281 silanti prince yugan kernel has been used this is which is fine but scores are not that great anyhow i need to benchmark i haven't run because there is one more problem in this rom is there is no right access to the internal storage and read access to the external storage i mean if you use sd card or anything there is no access it's showing simply the files here if i go into sd card as you can see multiple files has been showing there's the one bug major bug for me at least that they need to fix in upcoming builds and read access is unavailable here in the sd card and write access whatever you need to download any files you need to move into either sd card or otg that you need to keep in mind in internal storage you can read the memory but you can't write it that's how it is and there is a button to lock here as you can see and fingerprint unlock let me show you as you can see it's very quick and there is an animation and sound for that particular unlocking your smartphone and there is no face unlock let me go into app settings before that i'll show you the drm info here level 3 certification as you can see 
there is no hd playback content from ott application that is also missing simply here whatsapp is also working for payment applications so you need to pass the safety net fix i already made how to uh, flash some of the modules from using magics i'll give you a card you can check out that particular video for more mod applications and before going into actual settings let me show you the quick settings panel as you can see there are plenty of quick settings already given and if you want to edit like some more are given here small screen mode screen cache some of the focus mode if you want you can drag them here you get eye protection also as you can see and dark theme i'll show you as you can see it's in pitch black condition that's good thing at least disable that and battery saver location everything is working fine no problem regarding that but there is a lag in the ui especially in the uh, this app drawer as you can see when i open this it takes a second or it like freezes like that and while running cpu throttling test as i said before it freezes i don't know why it is happening and let me go into settings and show you the settings actually the settings panel was a little bit spaced a lot more i kept the display settings to small then it is adjusted to our x3 slash nfc display and brightness as i said before adaptive brightness is working fine as you can see and the high production dark theme screen time out you can choose from 15 to 10 minutes auto reduction color temperature adjustment you can adjust from here as you can see warm or cooler let me keep it to default that's how it is and font size also you can adjust from here font style also you need to download from the store given in the fun touch os 12 status bar customization battery percentage you can make it out notification method you can choose from icons numbers and none there is no lot more customization here and refresh rate i kept to 120 hertz also and even smart switch both are one and the same there is no difference whatsoever and display at the top of the screen you can choose from here and full screen display you can choose the apps this is the display settings and lock screen and wallpapers you get always on display here which is working fine but i recommend to keep it off it drains the battery themes also again you need to download from store but in the store there is no resources there is no access to store as of now maybe in upcoming builds you will get and these are the few wallpapers and live wallpapers pre-installed with this rom now dynamic effects enhance dynamic effects i turned it on and even i turned off there is no much of a difference here in the ui and real time blurring also you can enable or disable and whether backgrounds and nano music player is pre-installed music player usb inserted animation you can choose here whenever you apply a i mean a charger let me show you as you can see this is how the animation you get whenever you apply a usb port not just that even you get this charging animation here you can see here and good thing is 33 watt charger support is available in this room which is very good thing and you can choose some of the animation effects from here unlock and enter home screen animation there is none as of now let's see if i keep by fly out and apply let's see whether this lag has been fixed or not no it hasn't taken the effect of that fly out by layer fly in by layer let's see apply i don't know whether it's applied or not let's check out as you can see those things are simply not working in my opinion and screen off and screen on animation also you can choose from here there are few customization in terms of unlocking and locking and even charging and discharging i mean the animation you can get from here system update this is simply shown here there's a ported rom sound settings basic things are working fine you can set the phone ringtone and alarm and notification ringtone those things are working fine and touch vibration haptic feedback you can adjust the intensity based on four modes and sound qualities and profiles you get audio super resolution just enable this you will get a little bit loudness extra and headphone adaption ear customization if you enable headphone adaption 
you need a air form for that and air customization you can choose between these ears this is a typical fun touch os experience you get in audio also listening experience preference you can enable from here there are few customization super audio you can choose from here this is from poco x3 actually and uh, hi-fi audio also you can enable you can choose the apps whichever apps you need to get hi-fi audio support you won't get hardware level of hi-fi audio but it makes a little bit of difference now coming into apps and notification it's a typical ui based on android 12 here notifications also you can enable or disable some of the settings you can see on the screen coming to battery life this is really good as you can see okay i have charged again but the battery life you can get around 8 to 10 hours based upon your usage pattern and i'm speaking about x3 indian variant 6000 mh for global variant it might differ slightly one hour less or like that or 30 minutes both are same in my opinion battery saver you get extreme battery saver no you won't get it battery percentage you can enable or disable and some of the options like riverless reverse wireless charging is shown but don't use that apps are running normally these things are given and ultra game mode is given you can see here esports mode i will show you while playing the call of duty esports mode as you can see minimal disturbance optimized control optimized display settings and you can choose here the call of duty supported games adaptive frame rate and temperature those things you can customization 4d game vibrations i haven't faced any big difference like that and game surround sound you can keep your near field and wide mode you can keep it out and packaged audio device and earphones headphones there are few customization while playing game that is really fine but the way is not as good as any other roms we previously seen seen in my channel and shortcuts and accessibility you get all the basic accessibility settings here is capture you can select that smart split is given enable screen split and recommended screen splits also you can choose the apps you need to customize them quick action is also given as you can see easy touch mode is also given you will need to customize them this is a quick ball feature whatever we see in miwa it's similar to that face beauty for video call that is given here but face unlock option is simply missing here flash notifications and scheduled tasks are given you can schedule them one handed mode is given and accessibility menu is working fine no problem regarding that and uh, what is system also you get system navigation the pill is invisible here there are no options to customize those things this is all the iq 9 pro and i will show you the call of duty mobile gameplay you can see here the graphics settings i will show you i will set it to low and max only you won't get other than this ultra max option is not available whatever above that option i don't remember and surprisingly the gameplay is fine here there is no lag there is lag in the ui i will show you one thing when i get down here because of that maybe the ui is as you can see slight stutter in gameplay but still it's playable and if you use this game turbo mode whatever it is you can see here battery save mode is given got it no longer battery but that's how it is and there is a balance mode and performance mode and 4d game vibration that doesn't make any difference it need to be hardware support esports mode is available and voice changer is also given there are presets as you can see cowboy child commander artificial intelligence and war correspondence you will also get a recording preview and original sound you can come back from here let me have a try done and uh, brightness also lock brightness you can make it like this and uh, there is some of the options like high temperature unable to start out of play like that and whatsapp picture in picture mode also available you need to sign in whatsapp okay and 
screenshot option it takes within a second which is fine enough and you can take long screenshot and record screen options are also given as you can see you get these kind of options here you can record the sound also microphone and sound system sound you can choose from here simple settings and picture quality you can choose low medium and high let me go back to game here okay this is the game mode options you get will it make any difference means yes it will make difference but 4d vibration is not available that's how it is this is an iq 9 pro ported rom for poco x3 slash nfc you can see here front touch is 12 version which is fine in my opinion those who are using to try as a daily driver i don't recommend for them if you have as a secondary device and if you want to try this ui for a while then you can try this out and go back to whatever ui you feel comfortable that's the verdict for this particular rom gaming for call of duty at least it's fine but ui lag is definitely there and i definitely appreciate the developer who uh, ported this rom at least we are getting some new interesting customizable roms for poco x slash nfc we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smelling baba for now